This video was sponsored by SeatGeek. Hey guys, Maven here. Now, the peak for most wrestlers in our business is to have the chance to perform at a WrestleMania, the highlight of our year, the Super Bowl in our business. And fortunately for me, I was able to perform in my first WrestleMania in 2002, where I defended the Hardcore Championship against Goldust. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining and showing how a WrestleMania match gets put together, what makes that match unique and unlike any other, and what makes the entire WrestleMania week different than any other week throughout the entire year as a WWE wrestler. All right, so for me, my WrestleMania experience actually began two weeks prior to my first WrestleMania match. Now, what do I mean by that? Unlike my Royal Rumble experience where I found out the day of exactly what I was going to be doing and who I was going to be doing it with, The Undertaker, I found out that I was going to be in WrestleMania 18 two weeks before that fateful night. Already being the hardcore champion, I didn't know week to week going into Raw, SmackDown, or any of the non-televised events. I didn't know if I was going to retain the hardcore championship week in and week out. But finding out two weeks prior to WrestleMania that I would go into WrestleMania 18 as the hardcore champion, I knew for at least two weeks I could rest easy. Now, this didn't sit well with everyone and I would later find out that Test, who would become one of my good friends, I would find out that he was actually supposed to have the match that I ended up getting. But hey, business is business. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Of course not. I had to take the opportunity when the opportunity presented itself. So how did I find out? Well, a front office person came up to me and actually told me, Maven, get ready, actually get with Dustin, get with Gold Dust, and start thinking of your match. My match for what? Your match for WrestleMania. I knew being able to work and being able to actually have a match in a WrestleMania is something that no one would ever be able to take away from me. That's the good side of it, but there's a flip side to that coin. There is a bad, and I immediately was just nervous, just scared, knowing that one, I probably wasn't prepared. Two, I probably needed a little bit more seasoning being that I was still extremely green, but I also, I also knew that I was going in there with a consummate professional and knowing that I was going to be you know, wrestling with gold dust it did ease my mind a little bit because I knew there was under no circumstances he was going to allow for a bad match now the week of Wrestlemania for a WWE wrestler it's unlike any other on a normal week and keep in mind this was years ago this was back before the show split when the entire roster wrestled on both raw and smackdown and then normally would go home on wednesday wrestlemania week's different however this week we would always fly from whatever town we were in to the town where wrestlemania would be and i'm talking everyone would fly there whether you're on the show or if you're not on the show does not matter everyone is flying there once we get to the town toronto for wrestlemania 18 it's a well-oiled machine it's not like we have to stand and check in to the hotel oh no we would get to the tv hotel and by that i mean the hotel where everyone would stay production crew wrestlers everyone and they had our rooms ready for us we would walk up and they would hand us our key card and off we went but that doesn't mean that you know here's your key card we'll see you sunday at the show oh no your responsibilities start as soon as you get there i actually remember that wednesday before wrestlemania right after checking into my room i had about an hour until i had to be back downstairs because a group of us had to go to a fan convention 
to do a meet and greet and they kept us extremely busy the entire week. Now the Fan Expo would take place Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and they had me in and out of there. I was doing meet and greets and other fan experience activities and on Friday I got my first look at what was then the Toronto Sky Dome and what would be the location of WrestleMania 18. I was the hardcore champion going into this match. And there was a lot of people that was going to play a part in our match. It wasn't just myself and Goldust. It was me, Crash Holly, Molly Holly, Spike Dudley, and Christian. We would all play a role in this WrestleMania surrounding the Hardcore Championship. Goldust and I were able to see where our gold-plated trash cans and our gold-plated shovels and our gold-plated trash can lids exactly where they would be placed under the ring because every show had to hit time cues. WrestleMania is no different. In fact, WrestleMania, it's probably more important to hit time cues. They wanted to make sure that there were no wasted minute help, no wasted seconds, and that every single thing was planned out to perfection. We met at the Sky Dome and as as we were walking around, I still remember just looking up and just you know, just thinking how awe-inspiring it was. And a 70,000 seat arena, empty at the time, but knowing that in two days time, each and every seat in that arena would be filled. Now, for that WrestleMania, just as live events today, well, tickets are pretty pricey. That's where you want to utilize today's sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. Now, for me personally, I actually used to work with the Brooklyn Nets selling season passes. And inevitably, game after game, the premium tickets would go quickly. I would have loved back then to have a relationship with SeatGeek. Because SeatGeek takes all the tickets available on the web, puts them in one convenient location, giving you a great deal. SeatGeek shows you a panoramic view of every seat available, helping you decide where you want to see the action from. Also, SeatGeek has a simple to understand one through 10 rating system for all their tickets. And I have something special for you. Use my promo code MAVEN to get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. And if you're you're looking for peace of mind, every ticket is backed by SeatGeek's buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site offering you this peace of mind. So that's $20 off your first purchase when you use the promo code MAVEN. So make sure you're using the link in the description to download the SeatGeek app. Normally for a match, even, even a regular pay-per-view match, we're planning it all out day of at the ring a few hours before the show goes live. But for WrestleMania, no, we're planning it out ahead of time, days in advance. We want to make sure everybody is on the same page. We want to make sure that there's nothing that we're leaving to chance. We want to make sure that we're putting our best performance for that one night. WrestleMania, it's that one match that you can be known for. And you can be known for it in a good way or you can be known for it in a bad way. <laughs> I actually... I have my WrestleMania moment and it's not one of my favorite moments, but we want to make sure that we eliminate as many obstacles as possible. And the best way to do this is to plan ahead and to plan early, to get everybody that's going to be in that match, get them together and have everybody on the same page. Now, one thing I had going for me in WrestleMania 18 was the guy I was gonna be sharing the ring with. Normally, a match would be led by the agents and obviously the veteran. The agents would have the most say and then the veteran would add in his, his or her two cents and you know maybe chime in, take in, take out stuff that won't help. I was fortunate. I was in there with, you know, with, with Dustin. I was in there with a guy who is a legend in our business. His family is legendary. I was obviously listening to everything he said, everything from which weapons we would use to the order of those weapons. When he told me he was gonna step on a shovel and have it come up and smack me, I knew he was going to take care of me. and. Everything Dustin said, I was all ears and I trusted him and it worked out for the best because 
he knew exactly what we needed to do that night. Now, in a normal situation, it would be give and take. Both competitors would be, you know, offering up what it is they want to do, maybe what they don't want to do. In my situation, I was 100% ears, 0% mouth. I was listening to everything Goldust said because I was so new. I wasn't offering up any suggestions. Since this was a hardcore match, obviously more competitors than just myself and Dustin took place. But since I was only doing my part with Goldust and later Christian, those were the only two that I had to focus on and make sure that I had my timing and my cues right for that night. The other two were there, but they were doing their thing. Now, the first thing we had to do when planning the match was figure out our entrance. A normal entrance, you know you have the regular ramp. Well, this ramp was three or four times longer than our normal ramp. And that would play a part because we still had specific time cues we had to hit. We actually had to practice our entrances to see how long it was going to take us to get to the ring from point A to point B. So knowing that it was gonna take each of us about 60 seconds to get to the ring, we then knew where to take the match from there. And I knew I was involved in not only a WrestleMania, but a hardcore match at WrestleMania with the very first spot. And since we started the match off hot, meaning Gold Dust would knock me off the apron before I even got in the ring, we started off the match on the floor. And the first spot was Gold Dust beeling me into the barricade. And I knew going into it that this was going to be a tough bump to take, and it was. But hey, it's WrestleMania, and that's what you're there for. You're there to take calculated risks. You're there to have those moments where people people gasp, but not everything that goes according to plan. We had one spot where gold dust holds the trash can, as I've told you before, and I missed the trash can on the drop kick. But this just goes to show that not everything goes according to plan, even if you plan everything to perfection. And as I told you before, this would become one of my biggest regrets. Now, there actually was one spot that I was leery of because we couldn't practice it 100% full speed, and that was the spot with the shovel, the gold-plated shovel. Going into it, Dustin had this idea, and it worked to perfection. He was 100% right, but he knew that if I was on my hands and knees and he put a shovel underneath me, if he stepped on it with all his might, the force of the shovel coming up, catching me, would look devastating, and boy, it did. But I'm so thankful that I had a true veteran in there because he showed me how to do that spot safely where it would look devastating, but it didn't really hurt that much at all. And it was very simple. Right before he's getting ready to step on the edge of the shovel, all I had to do was put my arm over to where my lat and my underarm would take the brunt of that shovel stem coming up. It looks like it takes my head off, never even come close to touching my face. And once again, showed how Dustin took care of me that night, even with a move I was not looking forward to at all. Another thing that put my mind at ease, going into my first WrestleMania, I, I was aware of my positioning. I was aware of how I got there. I've talked to it at length, and the whole roster knew that I was the tough enough kid. And actually, I was a little bit apologetic to Dustin at, you know, weeks leading up to the match, and I still remember going up to him when I found out I was gonna be his opponent in a WrestleMania. A WrestleMania being a big deal for somebody, I knew that. I knew you know, there was a chance he might you know, look, see me on the card and think, man, that's why they put me in the ring with someone so shitty. So I was very apologetic you know, when I went up to talk to him. And he immediately put my mind at ease. And the nonchalantness by which he did it, because I remember going up to him when I found out. And I was like, Dustin, I'm so sorry that you have to work with me at WrestleMania. And he looked at me, he was like, I don't care. We'll be fine. Yeah, no, it's another match. I'll take care of you. Don't even worry about it. I don't, he, he and, 
Maybe he did care. If he did, he surely didn't show it. I knew everything was going to be fine just by his demeanor, just by his reaction. That was the exact reaction I needed to move forward and to look at the match as an opportunity and not as a burden. But even though my match with Gold Dust was over, that did not mean my WrestleMania was over, not by any stretch of the imagination. And although I lost the Hardcore Championship, it would change hands throughout the night several times until I was able to find Christian, catch him off guard, roll him up, one, two, three, steal his belt and his cab, and get out of Dodge. Now going into my spot with Christian, we had one chance to get this and nail it. And although we talked about it and you know, talked positioning and you know how much time it would take and exactly where I was gonna be when I rolled him up and what my reaction was going to be afterwards, we had to nail it and I'm happy we did. And as you see me speeding away, arm out the window, belt raised, celebrating my victory, as soon as the camera cut, the cab would turn around and bring me right back. I mean, that was just a local cab guy we used. And fun fact for you, the duffel bag you see Christian throw in the back of the cab that I evidently stole, yeah, that was a prop bag. Nobody, I mean nobody in the WWE uses a duffel bag. And I learned the hard way, which I'll tell you about one day. So once the cab brought me back around and let me back out, it was business as usual. I took my took my ass back inside, watched the monitor for the rest of the show, and it was a normal night until the after party. Every WrestleMania I was ever at, there is a after party. For this after party, I was I was just ecstatic to have my first WrestleMania in the books. Still a little upset that I missed the trash can on the drop kick, but nonetheless, I was going to enjoy this after party. And this party gives you an opportunity to get to know someone on a personal level because there's no other pay-per-view where people bring their entire family and you celebrate after the show is over. And the great thing about this party, for, for this one night, there was no tough enough guy. There was no, hey, you missed the drop kick. We were all just celebrating an amazing event. We were all just celebrating this business, this wrestling industry that everyone loved. And it wasn't a hierarchy. There wasn't a main event guy or a middle rung guy or a mid card guy. We were all just in this place celebrating the same cause. Now, to get to WrestleMania, you first have to get through the Royal Rumble. To see how that match gets put together, watch this video.